start climbing here. And good evening. It's France, it's evening, and so I'm having a glass of wine from a somewhat chipped crystal glass. But never mind, it's a nice glass of wine. I need to talk a little bit more about my relationship to religion. Um, I've always, well, for many years, I've taken a very strictly pro-atheist stance, although I have always been technically agnostic, in the sense that Thomas Huxley meant it, which is that nobody can ever really be absolutely certain that there is no God. You can never prove a negative in that way. So even though there's no evidence for a God, we all have to be agnostic. Now that has adopted a different meaning now. Um, Richard Dawkins, for example, defines uh, five grades of uh, from atheism through agnosticism to, to belief. And that's really not what Huxley meant. So I'm meaning, uh, I don't mean that I'm sort of wishy-washy or in the middle. I have absolutely no belief in a deity whatsoever. And I doubt if it will ever be persuaded that one existed, exists or that there's a heaven or anything else like that. Nevertheless, I'm not an atheist because I think that atheism has become the tool of those who are the enemies of Western European culture, white Western European culture. And this is incredibly dangerous. I think we can draw a great deal of this uh, we can draw back to the influence of Marx, Marx being extremely anti-religious as well as atheistic. And in fact, I would like to suggest that atheism is really not so much the, well, at least it is not, it is only in part the disbelief in God and not believing in God. It's also the disbelief in religion and its associated cultural and social forms. And that's the last bit is where you lose me. I'm aware looking around YouTube and other areas that there is an identification between those who are on the left and atheism and I dislike that because I don't consider myself a leftist. I don't think I ever have been. Um, I don't believe in uh, extremely high levels of taxation. I don't believe in big state. I do believe in the freedom of the individual. I do believe in... Um, the ability to, 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 to earn and to keep wealth. Uh, so I'm conservative with a small c, not a large one, small c. And yet I'm certainly agnostic and would have formerly considered myself atheistic. But as I said in my previous video, I have to stop calling myself atheistic because this term is being used by people who are my enemy. They, they are the enemies of the finest culture that the world has ever known. And those of us who wish to see that culture preserved and maintained and continue to do the wonderful things that it has done for human, for humanity generally, have to stand by it and have to say, well, no, we can't have that. You can't just wander around saying that white Western culture is terrible because it's not. It's wonderful. It gave us um, space flight, airplanes, public medicine, public health. It gave us proper sanitation. It's given us almost universal literacy I mean, across the board just across the board. White Western culture is better than any other culture and we can't allow people the tools to try to destroy it, which is what they use. And atheism has become one of these tools. So I have a problem with that. I have a real problem with that. And I think that um, all of us who have considered this question have to really revisit it. Now I'm not suddenly getting God here. I don't think anybody that knows me should worry about that too much. But anybody who knows me also will also know that I have always been a fervent devotee of culture. It's really what my life has been about. You know, I'm an artist. Uh, I'm a photographer and a writer and I'm a printmaker. Um, the pictures that you see behind me and many of the books that you see behind me are actually mine, you know. Um, culture, art and culture are really, really important to me and they're really, really important to all of us. Um, at the same time, I was lucky enough to have a scientific education at school, a very scientific school, and that gave me the groundwork that I needed to, to, to understand scientific method and to understand how it must be applied in the understanding of the world around us. And it, again, this is something that is m under savage attack just now, savage attack 
by leftists who are using a really an anti an anti philosophy called postmodernism, which gives us cultural Marxism. The, the difference between cultural Marxism and conventional Marxist Marxism or economic Marxism is that it's designed to be appealing to people who are not being exploited in the way that the um, 19th century mill workers that Marx was actually writing about were certainly being exploited. Not by all factory owners by any means. There were model factory owners who were very, very good to their workers. But it is certainly true that there were many who weren't. But when you're looking at people living on handouts from the state, you're not talking about that kind of situation whatsoever. So they've adopted the, uh, the Foucauldian postmodernist idea that it's not about money or financial or economic well-being, it's about power. Because Marxism is fundamentally atheistic, it's a materialist cult, I would call it a materialist religion, to be honest with you, it's fundamentally, implacably opposed to all of the spiritual religions. And what has actually happened in cultural Marxism is that the spiritual side, which is very important in the United States, has been catered for, catered to, by New Ageism. Um, so you get these uh, the, the nonsense by people like Deepak Chopra and the flat earth notion and, and a whole range of complete and utter bunk from anti-vaxxing to, to chemtrails. We are being asked to choose between. Uh, an anti-culture, a subversive anti-culture that doesn't believe in anything, it, because literally, postmodernism does not believe in anything, it doesn't even believe in reality. Reality is a, an illusion to a postmodernist. Um, it doesn't believe in God, obviously, because it's, uh, it's atheistic. It doesn't believe in hard work, because you're not allowed to keep what you earn. It doesn't believe in truth, because again, truth is just a question of viewpoint to a postmodernist. This is what we're being asked to take on board. And on the other side, there are people like me who believe in reason, you know, and who believe that the world is a real thing. It actually does exist. It, the, it, objective reality is a real thing. It has teeth and it bites. But we are... Because if we happen to be like me and end up being rationalist atheists, or rational agnostics to be straight, we end up giving ammunition to the people who would destroy the lot. You know, they would destroy everything. That's what they want to do. They want to destroy the entirety of Western culture and replace it with something else. And we're not really sure what they would replace it with. We can be sure it would not be nice. So at the end of the day, I can, I've had many comments today, I can, I can understand the comments that say, well, if you don't believe in God, you're an atheist. Well, that's not true. If you don't believe in God, you're an agnostic. If you're against the idea of God, you're an atheist. I'm an agnostic. I always have been an agnostic. Um, you can't be an atheist and believe in science and, you know, have faith in scientific method. You can't, because it could be wrong. Science has to accept the possibility that it could be wrong. That's basic. So that's really what I'm, uh, what I'm saying here. And I think that we need to all stand together now. We, we've got a problem. We've got a major social crisis on our hands. Um, Marxism, far from dying out, as it should have, uh, 27 or so years ago, has come back. And it's even stronger and even worse than it ever was. And it's masquerading as black supremacy, female supremacy, you name it, across the board. And it needs to be stopped. We need to stop it. And we need to draw the line in the sand and say, no, no, you can't have that. And if that means I have to stand with Christians and say, OK, I will stand with you and I'll accept your, your beliefs in God. I'm not going to challenge your beliefs in God anymore. That's how it will be. Because it's more important that we destroy the left than that we worry about a little bit of semantics as to whether we are atheist or agnostic. The problem society faces today is the resurgent left, and it must be destroyed. Doesn't matter what we have to do. And after all, remember, they're the ones who believe the end justifies the means. And this is a small compromise in the direction of the, of, uh, of, the, the, of a, an entirely good and honourable end, which is the defence of the finest culture that the world has ever known.
Thank <laughs> you.